This is it. We're down to the two best teams in the world and just moments away from the most exciting fixture in football, the World Cup Final. Stay with us. We'll have all the action live here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup Final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's France versus Argentina. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Rafael Varane plays with Presnel Kimpembe in central defence. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Paul Pogba in central midfield. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts with Karim Benzema. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Angel Di Maria starts with Lionel Messi in the wide midfield positions. And leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. And the contest begins. And whipped into the box. Well, the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. Well, not giving him any breathing room. Coman. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Coman. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Well, France are the holders. Not too many people doubted them coming into the tournament. And quite frankly, they've rubber-stamped their credentials. So watertight at the back, fluent in midfield, fearsome in attack. Can they be stopped? I'm not sure they can, Derek. I think they've been outstanding. They've done everything we expected them to. Some of their midfield performances have been excellent. And they've got goal scorers in the attacking areas. So I can see them winning the second World Cup on the bounce. They're a very, very good team. France should win this one. But he's gone short with it. And Paul Pogba waiting to fire. No nonsense clearance. And they have possession again. Rodrigo de Paul. Might really be able to trouble them here. The cross is on. Oh, a really good header. But the goalkeeper there's a cover-up. Strength and control, a big part of his game. And a timely intervention. Now well, that's wonderful attacking play. And a throw-in here for France. Oh, 
Pogba. Not much time to make up his mind. Applying vigorous pressure. Takes the shot. How did he manage to reach that? Ugo Lloris. Now sending it in. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. They couldn't maintain possession. Benzema. Coman. Mbappe in the centre. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. A very good tackle. And moving through the gears now, Benzema. And let's give credit to the defending. Not advantage with them. Refer a chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, he's gone into the referee's notebook. And he can't be surprised. That was a poor challenge, you have to say. Paredes the ball with Martinez well read to put an end to that attack and just slightly offside Griezmann Well, very effective play in possession. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Griezmann, and fine goalkeeping. It's a short one. Really good block. Benzema. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Lionel Messi. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. The corner courtesy of Lionel Messi. Well, it has come to nothing. Chance to put them in front. The opening goal and the 
final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. And France get the ball moving again. Can they come up with an answer here? Karim Benzema. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, Argentina haven't had that much of the ball so far, but when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Coman. And a timely intervention. And a free kick awarded by the referee. A short free kick this time. It needs an accurate cross. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Can they keep it going? Angel Di Maria is ready for it. Well, in fact, a good but straightforward claim by the keeper. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Not a great pass. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. Now well, he's given us away. Messi. A really intense pressure applied. Di Maria. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Messi in the vicinity. Oh, fantastic effort. He made great contact, but the keeper more than equal to it. Fired over by Messi. On the corner, far too close to the goalkeeper. Martinez. Wilting under the pressure. And now they try to go forward.
Martinez, he's in behind. And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Number 22, Lutaro Martinez. Nahuel Molina is with Paredes. Committed challenge. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. And scope for them to produce something exciting. And close but offside nonetheless <laughs> Teo Hernandez on to Benzema Here's Marcos Acuna. Di Maria keeps going. Well, making high pressing work for them here. Terrific block. How did he manage to reach that? Hugo Lloris. Messi with the corner. Well, it still could be dangerous. Just can't get it past him. Well, Lautaro Martinez is having plenty to say for himself out there on the pitch. Far for the course, you might say, Stuart. Well, he's been a joy to watch so far. He's got so much ability, and it was also a very good finish for his goal. He's been excellent. Yes, man. Really good challenge. Twenty minutes to go, and that's an important intervention. Lionel Messi. Pogba. Options for Di Maria. But they dealt with the threat post. Martinez. Martinez. It might be. Oh, right in the nick of time. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Already closing him down here. A bit wasteful from Argentina. Martinez. Jules Kunde on the ball. N'Golo Conte. And then the perfect position to read it. Benzema.
promising avenue of attack favoured by Messi. And he's lost custody of the ball here. And there it is! That will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Making a bit of headway, but a good piece of tidying up. Coman. Pogba has it. Return to Coman, and he's through here. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. So a personnel change then. To be replaced by number 17, Vissan Ben Yedder. Now sending it in. Over the touchline for what will be a France throw. Pogba. Well, tremendous block. And there goes the final whistle. For the third time in history, Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that. Argentina, world champions! They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.